righteous antiphon. O God, save me by your name. By your power, defend my cause. O God, hear my prayer. Give ear to the words of my mouth. Good morning, everyone. Let's begin our celebration as we always do. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, calling to mind once again God's love and tender mercy as we acknowledge our sins and seek God's forgiveness. I confess to Almighty Lord, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared fitting helps for us in our weakness, grant that we may receive their healing effects with joy and reflect them in a holy way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth when the 
the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all his distress he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He watches over all his bones. Not one of them shall be broken. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, perhaps many of you, like me, have been watching newscast after newscast, staying closely attentive to our phones, reading the newspapers, listening to politicians and doctors, and newscasters, and everyone else who has an opinion about the condition of the world as we find ourselves in it today. But for a few moments, maybe we can set aside those voices. Perhaps we can take a few moments to focus on God's Word, particularly as it comes to us today in Psalm 34 when much of the world might indeed feel brokenhearted, abandoned, discouraged, and fearful, we find hope and trust in God's Word. 
In Psalm 34, we're reminded that God remains close to the brokenhearted. And when the just person cries out, the Lord hears and rescues them from their distress. To me, that's a very valid invitation from the Lord who says to us, cry out and I will hear you. Cry out and I will listen. And so today, we cry out, Lord, help us. Lord, relieve the suffering of your people. Lord, bring us healing, bring us confidence, bring us hope, bring us joy. All that we've been preparing for in this season of Lent, in anticipation of Easter. The psalm goes on to tell us that the Lord will save and uh, the, the crushed in spirit. So take heart. Once again, God is with us. We are not on this journey alone, pandemic or not. We're never left alone. And so we take heart in knowing that God is with us. And further, the psalm tells us that the Lord delivers the just from many troubles. What are your troubles today? What weighs down heavily upon your shoulders, in your heart, on your mind? Bring them all to the Lord. And the psalm concludes by telling us, there is no guilt for those who take refuge in the Lord. No guilt for those who take refuge in the Lord. In whom or in what do we take refuge? Is it in the Lord, our safety, our surety, our peace? Unlike many of the listeners in the gospel today, we know who Jesus is. He is our Savior. We know who sent him. sent him. And we know why the Father sent Jesus. To redeem us. To heal us. To raise us up. To lead us to the Father. If we know him, and if we know where he came from, and if we know why the Father sent him, are we listening to the Savior today? My brothers and sisters, let us bring our needs and those of all the world and this faith community to God, our loving Father. For our church leaders, for missionaries, for those who bring Christ to others, may the Lord strengthen them in their zeal to spread the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For politicians and governors and policymakers. May the Holy Spirit inspire them in passing laws protecting all life from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those persecuted for righteousness, may God bless them with courage and perseverance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Hear our prayer. For our family of faith, all of our parishioners, may the Lord bless us in our Lenten efforts of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have become ill because of the pandemic, for all medical workers who are assisting them, and for all those who support healing in any way, physical, spiritual, emotional, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the faithful departed, especially remember John Hanrahan Sr., for whom this Mass is offered. 
May they rest in peace in paradise with all the angels and saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pause for a moment to raise up to the Father all those special intentions and special people in our lives, in our minds, and on our hearts. For these, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, our very breath is a gift from you. We humbly ask you to listen kindly to our prayers, which we make in faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and make peace with the sacrifice of our blood on the earth. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacrifice, almighty God, cleanse us by its mighty power and lead us to approach its source with ever greater purity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chapel.
chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus, sent by the Father to be our Redeemer. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. now invite you to make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. from old to new, so with former ways left behind, we may be renewed in holiness of mind. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please continue to uh, visit the parish website and flock notes for information about other celebrations of the Mass, including this Sunday for the fifth Sunday of Lent. And thank you for being with us uh, spiritually and keeping the parish connected uh, virtually uh, by way of the internet. Uh, to know that we're with each other is a great consolation to me, and I hope it is to you as well, my brothers and sisters. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. Look upon your servants, O Lord, and in your goodness protect with heavenly assistance those who trust in your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace and with joy. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Stay healthy, stay well.